Hot fish and eat. Hot fish and eat. That sounds great. I like the way you think. <laughs> After a quick mile, we passed the char hole and did some spotting for a few minutes on the wide riverbed. Since nothing was in sight, we dropped back into the deep pool where there just had to be some monster char waiting. We're going to serve them lunch while ours is on the grill. I had a monster come in and check that out. There he is, there he is. Oh, look at that char. Oh, man. That big one? That's a big one. Look at his rod. <laughs> Nice one. He's a big old bull, isn't he? You have those Hang needle on nose? for a picture. Oh, beautiful, Larry. <laughs> okay. Oh, look at that. <laughs> he took off. He's got a sore lip, that's all he's got. They're so pretty. Getting into the spawning colors. Very Pretty nice. fish. How'd you I do that? I caught a char that big. Am I lying? Yeah, I just held him up. He was that big. How did you do that? I was lucky. <laughs> <laughs> if you, you get another strike on orange, we'll switch you to orange, too. Okay. I caught that on uh, white. Yeah. Purple. So come and take my plug. These rods are so light. <laughs> it's fun. Well, Audrey, I came walking down here, and the second cast I threw, and he was right at my feet looking at it. And he was bigger than the one I caught. Really? Oh, man. My heart skipped a beat. Boy, I thought he had it, you know? Is that what you caught the last one? Yeah, I caught the last one. This orange. The Vibrex. Fish on! Oh, oh, fish, on fish on, fish on, fish so, on. Fight him, Odd, fight him! It's a grayling. Amazing, a grayling get his mouth over that thing. <laughs> Oh, nice grayling. How do you like that little pole? It is so little and light. It's quite the fight on this rod. Beautiful fish. Oh, look at the colors. Come here, buddy. Let's see if I can hold him up real quick. Beautiful dorsal colors. You get that aqua blue. Here you go. Hook it real quick. Oh. Perfect. Hey, buddy. <laughs> they are fun to catch. Now, folks, it would be easy to stay here all day, but after lunch, we needed to focus on a more serious issue, finding the caribou. And if they weren't moving, we could always come back here for the afternoon. So reluctantly, but optimistically, we rode to Randy's furthest lookout point to put in a couple good hours of glassing. Wow, you can see forever up here. Top of the world, isn't it? Life in Randy's caribou camp has to be experienced to be understood. Our schedule is so exhausting and the wilderness environment so intense that it takes months of conditioning to prepare for it. <laughs> or not. We don't get up early. We, you know, sleep in, everybody sleep in to 8 a.m., 9 a.m., whatever it needs to do, you know. You know, at first people aren't used to the relaxed atmosphere, you know. Basically wake up, have some coffee, fix a big breakfast. We eat here at camp, you know, nice big breakfast, then a pack of a day lunch in the boat. My signature lunch is a bacon cheeseburger on the river. And then we have a big dinner each evening, you know, try to keep the clients warm, dry, and fed really good. Relax in the evening, and, you know, sleep, go to bed, and start it all over again six days in a row, and really successful with that program. This is just a grueling schedule. I, I don't you, know if I can do this for five days. I told you you'd like it. <laughs> this is awesome. This hole we started at is a real good place to park the boat and have lunch, but the next hole over is where the big ones are. Where oh, the big ones are? The big ones. You were holding out on What us. was that that I caught right there? That wasn't a big one? Well, for, for now it was big. <laughs> I'm going to be first over there. Let's go I'm check it out. 
Don't be corking me over there. Yeah, yeah. out of the way. We're right. going first. Look who's talking. Larry, I've walked along the edge here and looked down in those deep pools and seen just huge char. I mean, like four feet long. Oh, kind of big. Gosh, I thought that one I caught was big, but you're talking about stuff that's crazy big now. Yeah. Oh man, you can see right down in there. Wow. Oh, look, Audrey, how clear that water is. Looks like something you'd see in New Zealand. You know, the, the water color. This looks like something out of Disney World. <laughs> Doesn't look real. Looks like somebody dreamed it up. You know. <laughs> That's right. I'll take the far position. Remember, don't get too close to shore right off the bat. Oh yeah. Okay. Don't Wide spook bird. the fish. Oh, fish on! Woo! Oh my gosh, I can see everything. I saw him swim up. I saw him look at it. I saw him take it. That's a nice one. This water is just unbelievable. Ah, that's cold water. Let's see if I can. Beautiful. Just gorgeous. <laughs> oh my gosh, that water is freezing. It's worth it. Got another one, Larry. Another char? Yeah. Look at that grin. <laughs> 13 minutes to catch oh three more. Oh my gosh. Looks a little bigger. There he is, there he is. Big old char. You can just unhook him right there if you want. Okay. Here you go, John, you got one coming right in. Stay right there. Man, he came up, he followed that plug right in and hit it like 20 feet, maybe 15 to 20 feet right in front of him. Randy, would you do the honor? Yes, sir. There you go. There you go. <laughs> Good job. I don't stick around long, do they? Oh, boy, big old fish, just like the other one. In the last couple hours, the temperature had seemed to drop a few degrees, which meant our chances might be higher for seeing some caribou movement. So with the fish still biting, we opted to spend the rest of the afternoon glassing instead.